Welcome back to the sound for more channel, it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to cover the vocal transformer, which allows you to double vocals, change the pitch, the formants, and also robotize your voice and therefore applying effects. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside Logic Pro for iPad on an iPad Pro M1. Let's click on Create Project and select Tracks. Next, we're going to select Patches, Loop and samples. Next we are going to um, bring up the um, file app like um, so and we are going to drag and drop a sample a loop that we have um, already available. Let's close that browser, let's select that loop and ensure we have a cycle on. So this is what it sounds like. Pray for your family, pray for Okay, perfect. Now let's open, um, I would say the not the mixer, but the plugin editor. Let's click on audio effects and you can choose vocal transformer. Of course, if you don't know where it is and if it is not in your instant, you can, of course, uh, search um, for it. And of course, then you click on it and it will be loaded as you can see. Now let's open it up and maximize the window. Let's um, now um, click on play and we have it just a default preset. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies. Okay, perfect. Now, first of all here, you can change the pitch. You can change the fine pitch and you can also change the glide between the pitch changes, right? So that's really nice. So let's try. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray over your strategy. Pray for your mental ease. Pray for this industry. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray you can change the format to emphasize particularly a particular frequency. Uh, the effect is based on grain synthesis, and therefore you can change the size of the grains as well, or you can leave it set to auto. Additionally, you have a, a parameter here called uh, formants process always processes everything, or trying to keep the unvoiced formant and act only on the um, voice formants. Okay, so it depends on the audio input that you currently have. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray over your strategy. Pray for your enterprise. Of course, if you move it at higher level as a format, it becomes more like a Mickey Mouse voice, a lower value, similar more to a Darth Vader uh, type of voice. Now, what you can also do, you can robotize the voice. You click here on the robotize button and you have two new dials available. One is the pitch um, base frequency, so that allows you to uh, transpose the frequency which is being tracked here by the uh, pitch tracking dial. And here you can change effectively how uh, the intensity of uh, the effect, which of course will change, uh, will, will create changes to the uh, relevant intervals. And then finally, you have a dry and wet mix down here. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray over your strategy. Pray for your mental ears. Pray for this industry. Let me show you now changing the wet and dry effect because, of course, you can double the voice, right? Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray over your strategy. Pray for your mental ease. Pray for this industry. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies, oh what a friend you need, pray for your eyes to see, pray over your strategy, pray for your mental ease, pray for this industry. 
Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for of course, you can create some type of gated effects depending on the setting of the different dials. So like this one, in this case, with pitch tracking a maximum, the pitch pace and tremor transposition a little bit lower, the grain size a, um, a maximum, uh, 20 milliseconds, the format a little bit higher, and then the glide around 100 milliseconds. As always, you have access to presets here. Click where it says default presets and you have uh, three categories, drum loop transform, voices, warp voices. So you can apply the uh, vocal transformer not only to vocals, of course, but also, for example, to a drum loop. What I really like is, for example, in this case, is a male voice. You can double it. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemy. And also remember that you can load other instances like so. You click on the plus sign down here. You select the vocal transformer again and you have another instance and you can double it again. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. And of course, if you change the pitch, then you can create harmonies. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies, oh what a friend you need, pray for your eyes to see, pray over your strategy, pray for your mental ease, pray for this industry. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies, oh what a friend you need, pray for your eyes to see, pray over your strategy, pray for your... Of course, it depends on what you are trying to achieve. Okay, so let's exit the browser view, close the plugin editor, and perhaps let's delete this track like so. And now let's choose drama uh, like so. Let's increase the complexity a bit. Let's try. Okay, perfect. Now let's close the editor, open the plugin, and um, editor add as an audio effect now the vocal transformer on top of a drum loop. And that is going to be interesting. And let's maximize that view. <laughs> This one is quite nice because you can vocalize the drum loop. Really, really nice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.